definitely. Um, <laughs> all right. Um, well, as I said, it was a uh, it was a delightful weekend of pro wrestling, and we are going to get into all the happy stuff. But there is a little bit of breaking news. Um, just within the last few hours, <laughs> we got to get down into the uh, into the Twenty Twenty One, Matt. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Um, all right, we'll just cut to the chase here. Uh, there, there are now multiple reports that the uh, WWE has cut ties with Lars. Uh, apparently, uh, according to Mike Johnson from PW Insider, it really happened last month that Lars was released, but it was only today that WWE actually got around to confirming it. Uh, Lars has quite a history, and indulging. Um, I have compiled a timeline for all of you to enjoy. So can I just, uh, if any can of you want to get off this ride at any point. Sure. Can, can I just point out something real quick? He was fired months ago. And we're just learning ago, about it now. A month ago, and we're just learning about it now. Did somebody just asked, I mean, hey, where's, where, where, where's Lars? Where, where's the weird guy? I guarantee, with the, I guarantee the you know what that's, that's 2018. That's also very true. I mean, it goes both ways too. We see guys get brought in, and they're at the PC for you know months and weeks, and they never say anything. And then one day, there's a picture of all of them in their t-shirts, and and you're like, and well, then, there he is. And, and then one day, they uh, we don't hear from them again, and they end up on AEW Dark wrestling John Moxley or AEW Dynamite. It's been known to happen. It's been known to happen. Um, all right, so um, here's the um, I'm going to try to run through the Lars timeline because it, it's quite a saga. Um, I'll start with the beginning here. Uh, so Lars was basically a pro wrestling novice when he got signed 2013 uh, by WWE. He reported to the PC in 2014. He makes his TV debut on NXT in 2017. Mad Mike, he makes his takeover debut in... Brooklyn. Oh, no, no, no. no New no, Orleans. New Orleans in the ladder match. In the ladder match <laughs> yes, in exactly. In 2018, it's in New Orleans for WrestleMania weekend. He has the uh, He's part of the ladder match for the North American title. Um, everything seems to be going great. I mean, people are not into him, but he's getting pushed. Uh, he was a couple the only person booed in that match. He was booed. No one wanted to see him win that ladder match, but you know, it was not a. It was. It was not a go away. Well, it was kind of. What would you say, Mad Mike? What What, what was? We were going. both there. Let Let Let's just you know. First of all, let's brag about the fact that we were there, yeah. and then uh, then you tell me what was what was the feel of the room. For you towards Lars, was it just boo you because you're a heel, or was it oh, boo you go away? It was boo. We're the only person we don't want to see win this title. Okay, fair enough. Because I mean, if you if you look at the rest of that match, anyone else could have won that belt, and yes. the crowd would have erupted. Definitely. Uh, anyway, um, circling back. Um, so obviously, the only person booed in that match. A couple months later, he gets an NXT title match, of course, uh, against Aleister Black, and he loses. Uh, there's a famously um, incredibly off target um black mass in that match as also um mm -hmm. november but you know these are little these are quibbles he gets booed the kick misses yeah who cares november 2018 uh wwe starts promoting that lars is going to make his main roster debut uh his debut is finally announced for a date on raw in january of 2019 <laughs> just a couple months of hype but it never happens because Lars reportedly suffers an anxiety attack. He never even shows up on camera. But he does finally make his debut on the Raw after Mania in April of 2019. A week later, the Superstar Shakeup happens. Lars goes to SmackDown. And then a month later after that, May 10th, 2019 is the article date from Sports Illustrated is when the whole kit and caboodle all the dirty laundry, all the skeletons in the closet. Well, most of the skeletons in the closet uh, come tumbling out uh, as all these untidy comments from a message board from years and years ago before he was even signed to WWE. Um, racist, sexist, homophobic, bad stuff. We're not going to repeat it here. Uh, Pretty much the, about, the gambit of any his, don't want to come out. Man. Stuff about you know WWE <laughs> talents that he is current that, that he's now working with working alongside, I mean, it's not good. So that happens in May of 2019. Uh, there is a statement released by WWE on behalf of Lars, real name Dylan Miley, where he says there's no excuse, inappropriate remarks years ago, not my personal beliefs today, I've grown, I apologize to anyone offended. 
He gets slapped with a $100,000 fine, and he's back on TV within weeks of that. June 2019, he suffers a <laughs> severe knee injury. So within the span of four months, he debuts on Raw, moves to SmackDown. Everything just goes right into the toilet as far as away from the ring. And then he has a knee injury in June of 2019. That puts him out for more than a year. <laughs> and he finally returns in October of 2020 on SmackDown. His last WWE match comes a couple weeks after that. He has a win over Shorty G on October 23rd, 2020, and he is never seen again. Lars ended up, according to the research I was able to uncover online, Lars ended up having a total of five matches on the main roster. And all of them came after that huge crap storm with the untidy comments that How? were revealed. And he made his public was apology. Watching. Was he undefeated on the main roster? I I'm, I'm feel like sure I'm he probably feel... is because there is like um one of the matches um is a uh, every time he was pushed as a monster. Like yeah, he was I... always pushed as a monster, but there's only five matches on this whole thing. Uh, um let's see. let's see. Um yep. Lars Sullivan defeats the Lucha House Party. Lars Sullivan defeats Matt Hardy at a house show. Lars Sullivan defeats the Lucha House Party. Lars Sullivan defeats, defeats Jeff Hardy. And Lars Sullivan defeats Shorty G. Yeah. So, I mean, look. <laughs> I don't know what to say about Lars other than oh, there, was I know. Of, there was a lot of bad stuff going on. There was probably a lot a lot of bad things going on in his head probably you know still is i i don't know how sympathetic to be toward him just on the basis of all the nasty stuff that he said all those years ago um but you want to talk about just like snake bitten you know from from the jump um as soon as he hits the main roster everything starts to fall apart but they just keep going back to him Matt, they just Matt. keep trying it's like the unlimited chances for some people uh and he seemed to be it feels to me like he was the one uh he was one person who got more than his fair share of chances matt uh in, tina in the chat room is asking if you're going to mention the not safe for work videos oh yeah. you know what i didn't yeah. circle back to that because um which also it kind didn't of really fit neatly into the timeline but yeah kind of there was also the thing about the he may have done a little bit of the pornography so um as far Which, as you know, know isn't a bad thing yeah, I, yeah, I, the, yeah people get paid I think, um, I think it's safe to say he did a little time on his back yeah <laughs> oh so that's when he lost <laughs> <laughs> look but, you know what a, what a tremendous career he had man let me oh let me tell you he was just he was the heart of the wwe man I, I will say, um, before I shit on him, which I will, um, <laughs> th there were reports that he didn't want to travel early on because of anxiety and like fear of flying and stuff like that, which, mm -hmm. you know, all that totally sucks. Totally sucks. That's terrible. But at the same time, fuck that guy. Yeah. Like, like th th this is the perfect WWE career for someone like him. This is <laughs> literally karma coming to bite him. You know, for somebody who has bad anxiety, like, maybe the wrestling business isn't for you because you got to perform in front of all these people. Yeah. Like, you know, maybe this isn't really the kind of thing you want to be doing with yourself. He was the shits anyway. So it's not really a big loss in any way, shape, or form. It was just... Well, I mean, Riz, you you mentioned this somewhere, um, yeah, and I don't right. want you want, I don't want you to feel like you're alone on this because I kind of share your opinion on this. That at during a, for a time there when he was in NXT, when he first even started, I was kind of like, you know, this could work, you know. Like when when he first started, I think when when we were we were actually watching Alert was it was it during that the first take uh, not the first take the NXT show that came here or the, the second one I'm not sure which one but. All I remember is how, like, he looked like a guy that Vince McMahon would do anything to get over as a he, heel. He beat uh, Johnny Gargano by DQ at Stage AE in Pittsburgh. Yep. 
There you go. Oh, yeah, that's right. He, like, yeah. And that does kind of go back to, like, <clears throat> you know, I don't know what's – you can't say unlimited chances because they released them. So obviously there was a limit to the chances, no, but he yeah, got a lot of chances. And there are, and there are people like him still in WWE who have, you know, some stuff in their background. <clears> that <throat> is not the kind of thing you want to have around <clears throat> that are continuing. <clears throat> exactly. They're and, and continuing to get chances when Bro. you're kind of like, <clears throat> you've got the a mountain of talent in your, in your system. What's the, just get rid of these guys. You know, what's the point in keeping because, these guys around? Because the guy in charge is scared that once they release said talent, said talent's going to go over to another place. I, I don't thrive. think they're worried about that with him. 